Uh, if y'all saw what happened up here just now, that's why I moved back to Spartanburg. Uh, me and Kyle go back and forth, kid each other a lot about having so many jobs. And I have, I've had five, but each time it's been for family. It really, part of it is about me, but most of it's about family. And uh, that's why I moved back to Spartanburg. I'd like to start by saying thank you to a lot of people that have made uh, this possible today. I like this court. I like this mic. I can move around. Um, but no, I want to say thank you, Donna, for uh, supporting me in this endeavor and allowing me the time away from home and family to do what we do. Thank you very much. Uh, to my parents, thank you for being parents, for instilling in me. But uh, thanks for instilling in me the core values that I carry with me today. That dog made me who I am. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. All right. Phil, thank you for taking a chance on me. Uh, you know, I got out of the fire service for just a little bit, and uh, you took a chance on me as a assistant chief. And I thank you, Roger, for showing me how to lead and treat people in the right way in every situation, no matter who they are. Thank you. I ought to be doing, I ought to put this in my speech, I ought to put that in my speech, and uh, I said I ought to change it. And I, I mean, I really was, I was starting to work on it and changing a few things, and then I said, no, 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 Tommy. I said, these people elected me four years ago, I stood here four years ago, and uh, of those ideas, I believe that relationships are the key to building bridges to establish one common voice within the state's fire service. We now hold our conference jointly with the chiefs and the instructors. As an association, we know and understand that we cannot accomplish much without the support and cooperation of our brother and sister associations. We have to continue building bridges to open and maintain those lines of communications. I think we should strive to mirror our association demographically, and we need to ensure that we're diligent in our efforts to have fair and honest representation from those that are willing, willing, and have shown through their passion and hard work. We're gonna always work tirelessly to represent our mission and provide the services and benefits to all our members and member departments, no matter the size, location, or makeup of the department. Again, thank you for allowing me this great opportunity to serve you. Billy in Budapest, thank you for watching. And it is now my distinct honor and privilege call the 2015 South Carolina Fire Rescue Conference adjourned. Dennis Ray, it is a lot. You're quite welcome. Me and him was debating what that was, a light or a microphone. Now we know. Uh, he, he promised he asked me to promise him that I'd redress that first. That was my first issue as president. <laughs>